Reading Course Development for English 115 Students Chapter 5 Communication Unit 2 Just Whistle Objectives After completing this unit, students will be able to Explain what is Silbo Understand how local people can communicate with friends who live up to two miles away And describe how whistle language works Paragraph 1 People who live in La Gomera a small island off the coast of Africa, are starting to whistle while they work again. But these are no ordinary songs. Paragraph 2. In fact, Silbo Gomero is not music at all, but a whistled language you can hear only on this hilly Spanish island. Researchers believe that Silbo Gomero first came to the island with settlers from Africa. Researchers believe that Silbo Gomero first came to the island with settlers from Africa over 2,500 years ago. Residents are attempting to bring the language back to life before those who know it best. The shepherds can no longer pass it on. Paragraph 3. The whistled language is called silbo from silbar, the Spanish word for whistle. In the language, whistled sounds replace Spanish words. Sounds that are whistled higher or lower have different meanings. A silbador or whistler can change the level of the whistle by using his fingers. The hilly terrain of the region helps the sound travel. A silbador can direct the sound even more by cupping the other hand like a megaphone. Paragraph 4. Whistlers do not simply pass along information about basic needs. They can carry on whole conversations containing more than 4,000 words. However, since some words sound similar, Whistlers must sometimes guess the meaning. Paragraph 5. In 2000, the local government required all school children in the island's 15 schools to learn Silbo Gamero. Students between the ages of 7 and 14 practiced the whistled language for half an hour a week. As a result, they could communicate with friends who live up to two miles away. Paragraph 6. As many as 70 other whistled languages exist in areas with similar terrain. Greece, Turkey, China, Vietnam, and Mexico. But researchers have only studied 12. Each one is based on the language spoken in that area. Studying these languages is an important step in maintaining their existence. Modern communication systems, especially cell phones, now threaten them. The people of La Gomera hope that by teaching children their special language in school, they can continue to pass it on to future generations. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, shepherds. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. C. People who take care of sheep. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word shepherds. Muhammad, can you talk about this? Well, I see a man riding his horse, and he's looking after his sheep. And that's what shepherds mean, to look after a sheep. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph with the vocabulary word shepherds. Let's read the sentence. Residents are attempting to bring the language back to life before those who know it best, the shepherds, can no longer pass it on. Number two, terrain. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. A. Type of land, for example, a hilly area. Let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word terrain. Mohammed, could you please explain this? In this picture I see a hilly area and it's a piece of land. And that is what terrain means. Type of land, for example, a hilly area. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word terrain. I'll read the sentence for you. A silbador or a whistler can change the level of the whistle by using his fingers. The hilly terrain of the region helps the sound travel. Number three, megaphone. Mohammed, please give us the correct answer on the right. B, a piece of equipment that makes your voice louder. Mohammed, let's look at this picture. How is this picture related to the vocabulary word megaphone? I see a man in this picture holding equipment and he wants to talk to a lot of people. He wants to, for his voice to be louder. And that is what megaphone, to make your voice louder. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word megaphone. A silbador can direct the sound even more 
by cupping the other hand like a megaphone. Choose the best answer. Question number one. What type of terrain would you see if you visited La Gomera? B. Hilly. Let's take a look at a paragraph that gives us that answer. I'll highlight the sentence for you. In fact, Silbo Gomero is not music at all, but a whistled language you can hear only on this hilly Spanish island. Question number two. How do shepherds make their whistles communicate different meanings? B. They cup their hands around their mouth. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph that gives us this answer. A syllabador can direct the sound even more by cupping the other hand like a megaphone. Now, where would they cup the other hand? This would be around the mouth. Question number three. How far away can Silbo Gamero whistles be heard? A. Up to two miles away. Let's take a look at the paragraph which gives us this answer. At the end it reads, As a result, they can communicate with friends who live up to two miles away. Now let's have a discussion. Muhammad, please tell us what you learned in this unit. Well, I learned in this unit that Silbo is a whistled language and also people use their hands and cup them around their mouth so it can be loud like a megaphone as a result their whistles can be heard up to two miles away